Have you ever found yourself feeling drained, doubting your own reality, or questioning whether the person you care about truly has your best interests at heart? If so, you might have experienced what it's like to be caught in the web of a narcissist and trust me, you're not alone. Welcome back everyone. I'm really excited you're here today because we're about to dive into a powerful, eye-opening topic that so many can relate to. Today, we're exploring what happens when a narcissist tries to destroy an empath a clash of two forces that couldn't be more different. This dynamic is more than just a relationship, it's an emotional battlefield where manipulation and control collide with compassion and intuition. It can be an intense roller coaster of highs and lows, leaving the empath feeling lost and powerless. But here's the twist. As devastating as it might seem, this experience can also lead to profound growth and transformation for the empath. So, whether you're currently dealing with this toxic dynamic or just curious to understand it better, grab a seat, settle in, and let's unpack this complex yet enlightening topic together. Now, before we dive into the depths of this emotional struggle, let's take a moment to understand who these key players are the narcissist and the empath, and why they're magnetically drawn to one another. Number 1. Defining the Narcissist and the Empath Let's start by taking a closer look at these two very different personalities, the narcissist and the empath. First up, the narcissist. A narcissist is someone who craves attention and admiration. It's almost like a bottomless pit, they never seem to get enough validation. This desire for control is at the heart of everything they do. They often present themselves as charming, confident, and even magnetic at first, but there's a darker side beneath the surface. Narcissists lack empathy. This means they don't genuinely care about the feelings or needs of others, even though they might pretend to. Their entire focus is on self-gratification. They thrive on manipulation, using tactics like gaslighting, where they twist reality to make you question your own perceptions or emotional abuse, where they break down your self-esteem to maintain control. For a narcissist, relationships aren't about connection, they're about power. Now, let's shift to the empath, who couldn't be more different. Empaths are incredibly sensitive to the emotions and energy around them. They feel deeply not just their own feelings but those of others. This makes them naturally compassionate and nurturing, always wanting to help and heal. It's like they have an emotional radar that picks up on the needs of others, sometimes even before those people realize it themselves. While this makes empaths wonderful, caring people, it also leaves them vulnerable. They tend to prioritize others over themselves, often at the expense of their own well-being. Unfortunately, this kindness and openness can be easily exploited by a narcissist who sees them as the perfect target someone who won't fight back, someone who will give without asking much in return. This is where the story between the narcissist and the empath begins. At first glance, they might seem like a perfect match the narcissist gets the admiration and attention they crave, and the empath feels fulfilled by helping someone they care about. But this is only the beginning of a much more complicated and dangerous dynamic. Number 2. The Attraction and Initial Stage When a narcissist meets an empath, it's like a moth drawn to a flame but for all the wrong reasons. The narcissist sees the empath's kindness, compassion, and deep sensitivity, but instead of appreciating these qualities, they see them as weaknesses to exploit. To the narcissist, the empath is the perfect target. Here's someone who will give them the admiration and attention they crave without asking for much in return. The empath, who naturally puts others first, becomes an ideal source of what psychologists call narcissistic supply. This is the constant validation that fuels the narcissist's ego and sense of importance. But this dynamic doesn't start in a way that's obvious. In the beginning, the narcissist makes the empath feel incredibly special. This stage is often referred to as the love bombing phase. The narcissist pours on affection, charm, and attention in a way that feels almost magical. They might shower the empath with compliments, act overly attentive, and make the empath feel like they're the center of their world. For the empath, this feels incredible. It's as if they found someone who finally understands them, appreciates their giving nature, and matches their emotional depth. During this phase, the empath is all in. Their natural instinct to care for others and be supportive kicks into high gear. They feel valued, loved, and needed which only makes them more emotionally invested in the relationship. 
it's the perfect trap. The empath is drawn deeper into the relationship, believing this intense connection is real and lasting. But beneath this surface of affection, the narcissist is already laying the groundwork for control, setting the stage for what's to come. Number 3. The Shift to Manipulation As time passes, the honeymoon phase between the narcissist and the empath fades, and the narcissist's true nature begins to surface. What once felt like admiration and love now starts to shift. The narcissist, no longer satisfied with just admiration, begins to crave more control. Subtly at first, they start to criticize the empath, pointing out their flaws, questioning their actions, and slowly chipping away at their self-esteem. Comments that seem harmless, or even framed as helpful advice begin to leave the empath feeling insecure and unsure. This is where gaslighting comes in a favorite tactic of the narcissist. Gaslighting is when the narcissist twists reality to make the empath doubt their own perceptions. For example, they might deny things they said or did, making the empath feel like they're overreacting or imagining things. Slowly but surely, the empath starts to question their own reality. Did that argument really happen the way they remember? Were they really in the wrong? These constant seeds of doubt make the empath more dependent on the narcissist's version of the truth. This creates an emotional roller coaster for the empath. Deep down, they know something is off, but their natural inclination to help and fix things takes over. Instead of stepping back and recognizing the manipulation, the empath believes they are the problem that they aren't doing enough to make the relationship work. They try harder, give more, and constantly adjust their behavior to please the narcissist. This cycle leaves the empath feeling emotionally drained, always chasing the approval they once received during the love bombing phase but never quite getting it. Each time they think they're making progress, the narcissist moves the goalposts, keeping them trapped in a cycle of self-doubt and emotional dependence. Number 4. The Empath's Awakening As the relationship continues, something starts to shift within the empath. Despite the confusion and self-doubt caused by the narcissist's manipulation, the empath's natural intuition begins to kick in. They've always had a deep sensitivity to the emotions around them, and now that same sensitivity starts to alert them that something isn't right. The empath begins to see through the cracks in the narcissist's facade. What once seemed like loving gestures now appear manipulative, and the constant criticism and blame feel less like truth and more like control. This is a powerful turning point. The empath might not fully understand what's happening at first, but they start to trust their gut feelings more. They begin to question the dynamic, recognizing that their constant feelings of inadequacy and guilt are being fed by the narcissist's need for control. This realization can be incredibly painful. It's hard to accept that someone they cared for so deeply, someone they poured their energy into, was deliberately trying to hurt and manipulate them. But this moment of clarity is also the start of their empowerment. Once the empath sees the truth, they start to reclaim their power. They begin to set boundaries something the narcissist never expected. Where the empath once bent over backward to please the narcissist, they now begin to prioritize their own well-being. They might pull back emotionally, stop feeding into the narcissist's endless demands for attention, and start saying no where they would have said yes before. This newfound strength isn't easy, and it often comes with moments of doubt and fear, but it marks the empath's journey toward healing. By distancing themselves from the toxic relationship, the empath starts to regain their sense of self, proving that the compassion they once freely gave to others can also be used to heal and protect themselves. Number 5. The Narcissist's Reaction and Downfall when the narcissist starts to realize that the empath is pulling away, it sends them into a panic. Narcissists thrive on control, and the thought of losing their grip over the empath feels like a direct threat to their ego. At this point, they may react aggressively, ramping up their manipulation tactics in an effort to regain control. The criticism becomes sharper, the gaslighting more intense, and they might even resort to emotional blackmail saying things like, you'll never find someone who loves you like I do or trying to guilt the empath into staying. It's their last attempt to trap the empath back into the cycle of self-doubt and dependence. But by now, the empath has changed. They've begun to see the manipulation for what it is, and instead of being pulled back in, they grow stronger. 
the emotional detachment that the empath has been working on starts to pay off. No longer needing the narcissist's approval or validation, the empath becomes less vulnerable to their tactics. Each time the narcissist pushes harder, the empath stands firmer, setting clearer boundaries and refusing to engage in the emotional games that once kept them trapped. This shift infuriates the narcissist. They feed on control and validation, and now that the empath isn't providing it, their attempts to regain power begin to backfire. Instead of breaking the empath down further, the narcissist is left scrambling, unable to comprehend how they've lost control over someone they once dominated. The empath, on the other hand, is finally free, growing more resilient and grounded with every step away from the narcissist. This is the narcissist's downfall the moment when their manipulations no longer work, and they are forced to face the reality that their once perfect source of supply has slipped through their fingers. Number 6. The Empath's Transformation and Growth As the empath moves further away from the toxic grip of the narcissist, a remarkable transformation begins. The same compassion and sensitivity that once left them open to manipulation now become their greatest sources of strength. Through the process of healing, the empath learns to trust their intuition something they may have doubted during their time with the narcissist. They begin to recognize the red flags they once missed, and, more importantly, they learn how to protect themselves from toxic people in the future. Setting firm boundaries becomes a newfound skill for the empath, and this is one of the most empowering parts of their journey. Where they once struggled to say no, they now understand the importance of putting their own well-being first. Self-care, which may have taken a backseat in the relationship, becomes a priority. The empath emerges from this experience stronger, more self-aware, and with a deeper sense of their own worth. They realize that their compassion and emotional depth aren't weaknesses, they are strengths, as long as they're paired with healthy boundaries. Meanwhile, the narcissist is left floundering. Without the empath's constant validation and attention, they're forced to look elsewhere for a new source of supply. But it's not easy to replace someone who gave so much without question. The narcissist's manipulative tactics might work temporarily with someone new, but the loss of the empath is a blow to their ego. In their desperation to maintain control, the narcissist may find themselves in a never-ending cycle, always searching for the next person to fill the void that the empath once occupied. In the end, while the narcissist may continue their pattern of manipulation, the empath is free wiser, more resilient, and ready to move forward without the weight of the past. It's a journey of profound growth and transformation, where the empath, who once felt powerless, now stands tall in their own strength. As we wrap up this exploration of the dynamic between narcissists and empaths, I want to encourage each of you to reflect on these relationships and the strength it takes to break free from them. Recognizing the patterns of manipulation and understanding the tactics used by narcissists can empower you to reclaim your life. Remember, if you find yourself in a similar situation, healing is not only possible, but it is also within your reach. You are not alone in this journey. If you've ever experienced the emotional roller coaster of a relationship with a narcissist, know that there is hope. Your compassion, sensitivity, and intuition are not weaknesses, they are your strengths. As you navigate the path toward healing, allow yourself to set those crucial boundaries and prioritize your own well-being. Remember, you have the power to rewrite your story. If you found value in today's discussion, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe for more content on healing and personal growth. I would love to hear your experiences in the comments below. Share your thoughts and let us know how you've navigated relationships with narcissists. Your story could be the encouragement someone else needs. Thank you for joining me today, and remember you have the strength to rise above toxicity and emerge stronger than ever.